Welcome back to RG Geek. Today is a special day, and at the end of October, I ordered the AYN Odin, and today we'll finally be able to unbox it. Took about a week to be delivered from China, so I was lucky. Thanks to all of you, or some of you, I scored this affiliate bag for the Odin, so I'm going to open that up first. Let's check this out. I heard rumors that this is just a switch case that they... Ooh, wow. This doesn't look like a switch case, though. At least it has custom AYN zippers. That's a really nice touch. It feels premium. This is nice. You can hang it on your belt. Carry it around. All right, let's open this puppy up. Oh, so you put your cords, things in here. It protects the case here. Wow, you have a nice slot. Doesn't look like a switch case to me. It looks like a actual oh Velcro. Looks like an actual case that AYN made. This is super cool. Much better than I expected. I'll do a quick comparison here. Compare sizes. So here is the official RG350 case, bag. Set that down, you can see size difference obviously in that. And as well, I want to compare this to this case I got, which was not from Embernick, but it is to hold this with the grip because I found I couldn't play this for more than like five or 10 minutes without my hand's hurting from the metal here, so I had to get this and I carry it with this, but I find amusingly now, this is about the same size, <laughs> or even bigger, bigger on one dimension than the other. It's hard to see here. Put those down, let's see here. Yeah, this is a bit taller. Um, yeah, that's how I was traveling before and I was like, this is silly that I've got a three and a half inch screen and this huge case for just the grips. It's a bit hard to take these grips off, but anyway, maybe we get on to the main event. What you've actually probably can come here to see is the actual AOI and Odin. Let's not destroy the Odin in the process here. Bad boy. Yes. Oh, that logo looks so nice on there. Shiny Odin. Or as I like to sing, Odin Odin Odin. Odin Odin Odin. Oh, my neighbors are saying the drill, so you get to hear that in the background as well. So, let's see here, my model is Pro. Storage is eight gigabytes. Wait, what? No, it's a known um, issue they have in the boxes. They've swapped the storage in RAM, 128 gigs RAM. And they printed these before they upgraded everybody to a 6,600 milliamp battery. So this says 6,000 because that was the original amount and you see it's way black. So, oh, fingerprints. Oh, Tape here. Not sponsored by you, but yeah. There we go. Now for the main event. Oh, so beautiful. And the manual. Is it a toilet paper manual from China? Well, has some heft to the pages. It's not the typical cheap. Manual you get. Doesn't feel too premium, but it's 
it gets the job done. Who's going to read this anyway? Well, I guess I will, because I am right now. Oops. Turning on the device for the first time. Always read your manuals, folks. It is recommended to charge the battery for at least 30 minutes before turning on the device for the first time. Okay. All right. Well, I'll look at the device, and then I'll charge it, and then I think I'll get back to that in the next video when I actually turn it on. After the battery is fully charged, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds until the device turns on, and the brand logo shows up. Wait for the brand logo screen to end. Enter the wizard interface. Follow the wizard interface to complete the basic settings of the device and enter the system. All right. Cool, cool stuff. Accordion. And we can read in Chinese. Well, I can't read in Chinese. Maybe you can. If you can read in Chinese, then read it to us in the comments. Oh, the spec sheet. Do the, the ghetto spec sheet for you guys. There you go. As in, I'm not putting the graphic on the screen. You just can read it now. Pause the screen. Pause the video. There we go. There's the specs. Okay, have fun with that. All right, let's get into this box. That's nice. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's the most elegant way to open this box. Nice. That doesn't have to it. Oh, that feels good. My goodness. That looks really good. Looks better than the photographs I've seen in the video. And yeah, it's shiny too. You can see me. Hey. <laughs> All right. So I've heard the issues with the L1 and R1 buttons. These feel good. So uh, let's check out these analog triggers. Also nice. You can see from here. Oh yeah, so got the, uh, this is the, like the HDMI, and I believe the charge is in here. Power button, volume over here. Headphone jack, and USB-C for docking. Probably also charge from here, I imagine. Pretty sweet. Let's feel the, yeah. It feels good. It's smaller, but I mean, I'm used to regular controller analog sticks. It's, it's a good analog stick. D-pad. Get some D-pad ASMR for you. Hmm. It quite feel, feels a bit like it, it moves around a bit. I don't, but I imagine in play it'll be fine. feels a bit to me like the uh, 8-bit do 30, uh, SN30 Pro Plus controllers if you're familiar with those. These are, these are nice and clicky. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this, at least the way it feels right now. And let's look at the back, you get some your grips. It looks like this might be a fingerprint magnet, but it's also a bit cold from coming in front side. The M1, M2 buttons, or I got that backwards because it's backwards. Oh, and I want to take this cover off so you can see how this looks. I have not done this before. I would say don't try this at home, kids, but you're welcome to try this at home. It's made to be taken off. Okay. Eh, I thought it looked a lot worse in the picture I saw of it, but this is fine. I have a micro SD card slot. I'll be sticking a micro SD card slot in there soon. And that's the um, micro HDMI. I don't know if I have a micro HDMI cable. I think I do somewhere in a box somewhere. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And in the next video, I will be turning this baby on after it's been charged for a half hour. And uh, you can see what it looks like to start it up. Uh, like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and ignore the coffee machine that's whirring in the background. Have a good one.